how you can laugh. <laughs> <laughs>
No, not recently. Mom and Dad have not a shot of deer in about 15 years now. Um, and kind of the reason is their memory's not what it used to be. Dad can never remember where he puts the gun and mom never remembers to bring the bullets. <laughs> but they still have lots of fun together when they are not sleeping most of the day. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. Well, well let me ask all of you, what is the most important thing your parents taught you about deer hunting that has stayed with you to this day? Bertha, we'll start with you. Oh, my parents always said, don't shoot a deer unless you're going to eat the whole thing. I may have lost eight teeth after the years, after the years chewing down their antlers, but none of our deer goes to waste. Well, well let me ask each of you again, um, how about you, Buford? <laughs> Tell me, what is your most favorite place that you hunt in all of Coffee Time USA County? Well, I have to say, I absolutely love to hunt the most in Coffee Filter Valley. Why, have you shot a lot of big deer there, Buford? No, not actually. I've actually never shot a deer there. It's just a really good place to take a nap. Okay, well, how about you down there, Barney? Where is your favorite place in all of Coffee Time USA County to hunt deer? I would have to say Coffee Bean Meadow. That is where I got a gigantic buck last year on the opening day of deer season. Wow, I have to ask you, what kind of weapon did you use? My 67 Ford pickup truck. I hope it wasn't dark again, Barney. You know, your siblings here said that they will not let you drive when it's dark. Oh, no, it was, it was not dark at all. Matter of fact, I was even in my deer stand. The door was, the deer was running and ran right into my parked truck. Poor thing broke its neck and died. That deer left 17 holes in my back fender. I'm confused. How, and our audience is confused, Barney. How could a deer leave 17 holes in your back fender of your truck? It was a 17 point buck. Oh, well that makes lots of sense. Makes sense. Now to you, Bertha. Where is your most favorite spot to hunt in all of Coffee Time USA County? My favorite spot is Coffee Grind Forest. That is where 30 years ago, I met my future husband, Barry Bullseye. My then future husband, Barry Bullseye. A year later, we were married and then I became Bertha Buckeye Bullseye. <laughs> I have to say, wow, that's neat. I have to say, Cliff, our sister is the envy of women everywhere in Coffee Time USA County because of her unique name. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Most women say they would absolutely give anything for a name like that. Let me think of this a minute now. Mrs. Bertha Buckeye marries Mr. Barney Bullseye and then becomes Mrs. Bertha Buckeye Bullseye. That sounds almost like a dream come true, Bertha. It is, Cliff. It really is. Well, let me ask each of you, since you are such experienced hunters, you're the most experienced hunters in all of Coffee Time USA County. Um, let's say uh, somebody's starting out hunting, okay? A new kid, a new young. What are some advice you could give them? Let's start with you, Buford. Well, we deal with this all the time. People come to us all the time looking for advice in hunting. So I would say you must never forget your bullets. Just like the word of God, the Bible in action are our bullets to fight the enemy and the good fight of faith. If you don't apply the word of God and practice it in your life, it is like shooting a gun with no bullets. That's such a good point, Buford. You know, Hebrews 12, 4 reminds us, for the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and it judges the thoughts and the attitudes of the heart. Amen, Pastor. And, you know, one time I came hunting without my bullets. As I was in my tree stand, there came to me the biggest doe you ever saw. Wow. I went to shoot and realized I forgot my bullets. Uh -huh. I am not like my mother in that way. But being you are the like your mother. I, I am, am, actually. Yes. Mm -hmm. But being the dedicated hunter that I am, I did not give up. It, I did not give up. And so, through the pine cone, I threw pine cones at the deer. I did not get the deer, but I sure had a lot of fun. Oh, I bet you that was I pretty did. cool I did. throwing them out there. Yeah. Yeah. Cliff, one piece of advice I'd give any hunter is to learn about the woods they're hunting in. It's easy to get lost, especially in unfamiliar woods. As believers, we need direction from God's Word, the Holy Spirit. Psalms 119, 104, and 105 tells us, I gain understanding from, 
from your prospects. Therefore, I hate every wrong path. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. I remember the time, for example, when I first hunted in Coffee Cup National Forest. It's Wisconsin's largest and biggest forest. I got lost for three weeks. Wow, three weeks. How did you finally find your way out, Bertha? Well, Cliff, when I, when I came to the four presidents carved in the side of the mountain, I finally got my bearings. Oh, good. Good to hear that. You know, Cliff, my piece of advice for any young hunter would be safety. I always prepare for the worst. I remember how the Apostle Paul tells us in Ephesians 6 to put on the full armor of God to face the battles of life. One time my sister Bertha told me when I hunted the deep woods of Coffee Time Mountain Meadows to shoot off three shots in a row if I got lost. That's smart. That way my brother Buford and my sister Bertha could find me if I did not come out on time in case something was wrong and they could not find me. Last year I twisted my ankle and could not walk. So my brother and sister here went looking for me. I shot three times in the air so they could hear me and come help me. They never found me so I ended up crawling out of the woods. That wasn't any fun. I don't understand. You, you shot off three shots but they never found you? You're right. It's hard to hear three shots when they are shot with a bow and arrow. <laughs> well, that's true. Very, 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 very true. Well, you know, I have to say, coming up on Coffee Time USA, I think in a couple of weeks, you remember Duck Dynasty, we have the Bullseye Triplet Show. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a reality show. It's the greatest thing since Duck Dynasty. And I believe the first week we find you canoeing down the Coffee Time River. Oh, good. And uh, it's a real adventure because alligators attack you and everything. Now you can laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, well,